Thank you for joining us for our Movie Lingo Trailer Talk. I'm Eddie Lingo. I'm Cody. And I'm Ron. And today we're going to discuss three trailers, starting with Batman vs. Superman, uh, X-Men Apocalypse. Is that what's the name of it? Yeah. X-Men Apocalypse? Or Rise of Apocalypse? No, it's just Apocalypse. It's just Apocalypse. I thought it was Rise, but when I watched the trailer, it just said Apocalypse. Okay, yeah, all right. And then we're going to finish off with the uh, Suicide Squad trailer, which I'm uh, excited to talk about. But first, let's start off with the uh, Batman v Superman. We have our Batmans, our classic Batman here. Yeah, Batman, Superman. Superman. <laughs> yeah, here. In case you didn't know him, you're introduced now. Right, yeah. So. Clark Wayne and Bruce Kent. <laughs> There's actually so uh, there's a few versions uh, and everybody the most the most lengthy recent version a lot of people were pissed said it showed too much yeah uh, and then after that there was you know some response from the directors of studios and they started putting out these smaller little snippets TV spots that not showing anything at all but it's like it's too late yeah uh, but the trailer <laughs> you already, you already itself, fucked up the trailer itself uh, I feel like what I've always felt like based on the cast and the trailer is that it's it's this movie is just the launching platform for the Justice League, which is why I think the subtitle is Dawn of Justice. Um, Cody, give me your opinion on the trailer and, and what I and what I just said. Um, I feel like DC is in a really predicament, a really predicament, <laughs> precarious spot is precarious. what I meant to say. Because um, we've got you know Marvel coming out with their Avengers. We had individual films for all of them, and then they came together. And DC is really trying to get in on that very quickly, so I feel I'm I'm worried. I'm worried for this movie. Mm -hmm. I'm worried that there's going to be too much in it. Okay. Um, personally, for me, I don't think we ever should have seen spoiler alert Wonder Woman in this movie at all. Right. I feel like that would have been fantastic if they could have kept that a secret. Yeah. Not a secret. Like you we're know, just, she's just, or just wait till you, wait watch, till the you watch the movie right. till you see her. Right. And then. We're showing uh, Lex Luthor in the suit, and we're showing uh, what's his name? I get them confused from Marvel and DC. Doomsday. Yes. Okay. Yes. We're showing Doomsday. We're showing. I feel like we're showing too much. No. And I'm worried. I think it's gonna do well, but um, I just I feel like there should have been a little mystery for this movie. But I know that I know that's hard with pub with social media and you know marketing and all that stuff. It's very very hard to not show some things in a movie. Yeah. Um. So. I'm on the fence about it. I'm gonna watch it, and I, I think it's gonna be good. I'm just I'm worried that they're trying to squeeze too much into one movie because they're trying to catch up with Marvel. Too fast, too soon. Too fast, too furious. Oh yeah, mm. there you go. That's that's kind of kind of where I felt about that. But how, how about your thoughts? Tell me what you thought about the trailer, and then what you, your opinion on um, the Justice League theory that I have. I thought, and this is just me, a casual moviegoer. I couldn't tell you comic book number blah 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 that this was taken out of. Um, you kind of have to give them nowadays in the movies more bang for their buck to grab that new person. Mm -hmm. So if you look at what Avengers did, a lot of people, they're, they're the ones who are spending their money, not the fan base, that the fandom. It's the ones who are new to the, the comic book series, the genre has never read a book right. or getting into it now digitally. This is the, the format now. This is, I'm going to show you all these goodies. I'm going to open up your imagination. You're now going to want more. And um, yes, like you said before, this is a complete setup to everything that DC is going to put on the table, from Aquaman to to try to merge what they're doing on um, the CW with Flash and right. Arrow, and the, you know. So to me, I thought, yes, you're showing your hand on some things, but it, I thought it was still tasteful. I thought it was still. I believe that the crew is going to put together enough wow factor in it to make you still walk away with you things that you didn't know was in it. So you it's, believe there's, there's still more to come? I you still think, think there's they, more things uh, in it. You don't think they ride along to us where they just blew their wall in the trailer? Um, I think I think <laughs> they did. I think they did, but you're still gonna you're still gonna be like, man, I'm just happy I was here. I'm just happy how we got here. <laughs> you know, you sit there thankful. and you, you, you watch I'm just happy the, I blew my wall. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, you're just you're just happy. Like it's almost like when you're sitting there with her and you're like, Man, I got this girl and she looks good and everything's going good, and you okay. go in the bathroom, like okay. I'm gonna put the condom on oh! But you're still grateful for that time. But I'm here though, but I'm here, she would choose me. So uh, to me, I take it. She as, might not again if that. She happens. might not again, but it was that one time. Doesn't matter. <laughs> that one time, I do. He's got her, me, happened. It happened. Ten seconds. It happened. That's all I'm at. But to me, I, I thought the the trailer gave me because there was so many question marks you had, and if you wanted to go watch the movie, some of those question marks had to be filled. Like you're sitting there saying, okay, so the guy who owns Facebook is playing Lex. Is that a question? And so when you saw him, and like I heard, he did not want to take Lex until they showed him this Lex. Right. And when you sit there and you watch that meeting for that first second, you're watching, I believe, Batman 
and Superman know each other. They know exactly who the hell they are. You can see the animosity between the two, and they're playing with war. If you go back and no, play that, that was the best part of the trailer. It is. Opinion, that interaction and everything. Um, but I feel like what the movie is about what i mean of course we know that they're never they're not going to stay against each other we know no, that's it's been beat each past, other right. up and then be friends right um it's 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 classic like it's we don't like each other we're gonna fight a new enemy approaches and now we, we need time to, to team up and work yeah. together right but the name of the movie should focus more on that which is why I feel like we're not going to get much until the end of the movie, and then they're going to drop us. Yeah. You, oh, you think it's going to be just drop us off right after they throw everybody in there? Because, you know, Aquaman's in there, too. I yeah. did, but I, like I said, I think because it's Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, we're going to get Batman and Superman fighting for 65 to 70% of the movie. Really? You think we're going to get that much? Because that's, that's not how I feel, but go ahead, what you're saying. I think we're going to get it for like 65 to 70% of the movie. And then the last 30% is going to be them setting up for the next movie, which is why okay. I think it's going to piss some people off because they show some stuff. But and that I, I feel wouldn't like piss me off because Batman v Superman is what they sold me on when they first said it was coming. So watching them go at it first and then you sprinkle in this Dawn of Justice wouldn't bother me. My fear is we're going to get all this build up animosity, reasons why they're going at each other, all this character build up us really getting to see lex we're gonna get that majority of the movie we're gonna get about 15 maybe maybe 20 minutes of batman v superman and then this this, this justice league introduction and that's gonna piss me off i think most of the movie is gonna be setting up their fight which we're not gonna get much of no i, I believe you i mean like, like i said before like the, the trailer if you go back and you play some hip-hop music some rap music take an instrumental right right and play it at the beginning where lex where Batman and Superman are talking and Lex comes in, play, just, just play that. They're actually having a freestyle. A disc, one of the greatest disc freestyles like little, back and forth. It's like, cypher going right he there. shoots him down, he shoots him back. He says, "Hey, listen. From where I come from, maybe we're just not happy seeing people dress up as clowns. Yeah. Like he just yeah, he took a he took a shot of him. <laughs> exactly. And then Lex is like, oh, firm handshake. Oh, you don't want to pick a fight with that person. Yeah, like, yeah. It just it's going back and forth. So to me, I don't think they gave away too much. Okay. I think they're wrapping it up and they're trying to put together um, what they've been doing on the television front. They, I believe. It is a good television. plan that they have with the CW, the Flash, exactly. and the uh, Arrow. I I like this long term plan. I just I just worry that they're trying to catch up to Marvel too fast. I wouldn't have mind they going the same formula and just individual movies built up. But now they got all these individual movies set up after they do the Justice yeah. League movie and stuff. So this it's, is just to get you in. It's essentially like if you're if you're Marvel, if Marvel and DC are in a, in a race, like a track race, right. and Marvel started and DC kind of hung back for a while and then it was like, oh shit, and chugged 14 Red Bulls and it's like sprinting <laughs> right. as fast as they can to catch yeah. up. I mean, basically it's it's essentially, uh, it's not going to have that same dramatic effect, but it's, it's, it's blockbuster not paying attention to Netflix. And Netflix asked, hey, can we team up with you guys? No? Yeah. Oh, and then okay. Netflix. And then Black was like, oh, oh, wait, wait. That formula works. Now we, okay, we'll yeah, we can do it. You can come in the store. We can go and online. Games oh, wait. And stuff. Uh, what? Oh, you, oh, no, okay. You do, you're already doing yeah. millions yeah. and millions so you don't of want dollars to pay for better. Yeah, can we look okay. something up? Oh, the computer, I'm sorry. <laughs> 1980s. Dogs. I mean, but the, the outcome's not going to be the same. DC's not going anywhere. No. You know, you know they, they have great characters, great following. I, w I do want to say this, because uh, we're going to have to bring this, this particular conversation to a close. I am hoping I'm wrong. I want this to do well. Oh, I want it to I, do well too. I want this to be. I'm not, to not a D well. I'm not a DC well. fan, but I I could potentially see the tides turn. I'm, I'm okay. I'm not a DC. I'm not into it a lot. I I respect it and I like some of its stories. I'm more of a Marvel person, but for me, if this does well, I could potentially see a change in that. I would love for that to change for me, but I'm hoping. Yeah, me too. I'm hoping I'm wrong. I'm hoping that they do this. It's perfect. I can't wait to do Batman the Batman v Superman: Dawn of Hope. <laughs> Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> like I said before, I the, one of the biggest things I'm leading <coughs> to is not, that's how I close it with is you don't really see the cause and effect of a superhero movie. You watch Avengers, you watch some of these other movies, and you watch the sense of destruction that happens. Mm -hmm. And then when you watch this movie, there is, there's punishment for this. And this is what they're leading up to. And there's some, some self-struggles and some little nicks and crannies in there, whether you're a fanboy or you're somebody who just jumped into it. So that's... That's what I'm looking for, but I do see that they're giving you everything they have now to get you in the door. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So now we got to bring it to the, the next discussion. Then.
It was a good talk though. Batman v Superman. You guys let us know in your comments what you think. And then be out for that full discussion Ew. in March on my Shh. birthday weekend when it comes out. Yes, Superman I just dropped that jewel. Totally be Batman. So we're gonna discuss now the X-Men Apocalypse. Woo. Yes, even though we still have our, our Batman v Superman uh, visitors here, they're gonna they're gonna stay here. They're not going anywhere. So you guys can not look for any X Men contributors. I'm an X Men. There you go. That's that's it. You got Cody and 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 Wolverine all in one. All right. So Cody Reen. <laughs> Wolverine. That so sounds wrong. The most recent trailer that I've watched, um, you know, really showed. Um, quite a few things, a couple, couple of new characters I'm a little excited about. The, you know, Apocalypse looks better in this trailer than the, the, the photos that had leaked oh, before. Man, that was tough. Yeah, you know, so um, I feel a little bit better about that. But uh, ultimately, about this, this trailer overall, um, I'm not as excited. I'm, I'm, I'm a little worried. So let's just dive right in. I'm going to start with you, Ron. How do you feel about the, the trailer and uh, for the, the X-Men Apocalypse? I feel like chicken tonight no no i feel like with is it just me but for some reason like professor x right he's super strong super knowledgeable it's almost like he has to answer everything right but every movie they take him out yeah just long enough oh yeah for you to actually see other people do some things he's a trump and then he card. comes up and he exactly he's, yeah, the he's trump spade card. you you get to cut diamonds with him right. that's basically what it is so when i watch the movie i like the the it seems like again comic books are teetering into that whole god versus man type of thing um there are a lot of nuggets that were in there um, as far as... You like that word. Which one? Nuggets. 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 I don't know. I, did I say it a lot? You said it last time. Last Here we go. Answer. All right, I'll take it. So nuggets. <laughs> nuggets are in there. And it just... Jubilee. Like, I've always loved Jubilee. Mm -hmm. And I saw that with the hoop. And the thing that just... Uh, like I paid no attention to the comic book characters. Or no, I did, actually. I wanted those, those costumes. And so when I watched them yeah. sitting there in the fighter, and I'm like, okay, this is what, what are we doing here? Brian, what did you do? What did you do? Look at the comic. Just copy the outfit. No. Yeah. <sighs> that, yeah that I would have loved. I would have liked to have seen those classic like comp, the outfits too. But that's you know, Hollywood for you. I mean, they want to make everything sleek and. But it like like he said, there's so many characters that you saw in there. Archangel, like there's. Professor X, his eyes turn in black. I've never seen so much power. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, oh, Archangel wow. looks pretty badass. Quick, yeah. so it looked like the, the him running through the house. Yeah. And I'm quite sure they've come up with some crazy way to to illustrate his speed once again. Mm -hmm. So, I'm 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 gonna watch it. We're gonna watch it. But oh yeah. It's gonna be a lot of. But it did, that trailer around. didn't excite you or, or make you feel a little bit better about it. No, no. No? no, I mean it felt good that uh, versus the last movie that came out, it felt good where I'm like, listen, I'm curious, I do want to see it. I really um, enjoyed the last movie, though. and I want to see it, but it, I just felt like there was a lot of stuff, and you're trying to me, I felt like I was trying to figure out what the storyline was. Okay, okay, I feel like maybe Professor Professor X is that fifth person. He normally controls four. Mm -hmm. He's going for a fifth, mm -hmm. and that's where you have the situation. I feel like if you look at it, it looks like there was a dream sequence. Because unless something crazy happens, Professor X is standing. He's throwing a punch. Um, you can see Apocalypse growing in size. Yeah, that's when he held him down. So maybe um, I I really don't know what Apocalypse's in, in game is. Also, I mean, unless he's just like on that same trip that Magneto was once on. But then I don't understand why Magneto would be joining him to fight him. Like you know, he said you guys are following the blind. You know, you're lost because you're. You're following blind leaders like we are superior and I don't know. So now what? Are you going to destroy the world and all the mutants too because they are not what you want them to be? Like yeah, I really don't I, know where I it's didn't, I didn't know where going. I mean, that's my fault for not really reading the comics like that because, you know, all the X-Men comics I read, um, I, I have not read every single one. I won't pretend to, but I've read a good amount. But normally it was, you know, based on who they were dealing with. And I've never been an Apocalypse fan. So if that was the story, I didn't really get the comic going, you know. Um, normally it was just my favorite villain of, in the Marvel Universe is Omega Red but that's just a whole other discussion anyway so how did you feel about the trailer? You're the Marvel guy how did you feel? <laughs> I, I, I liked the trailer um, you can like it I liked the trailer I liked the trailer I'm, I, I really I really enjoyed Days of Future Past I, I liked uh, what they did with the movie the first um, class also I I, yeah movie. first class I liked I liked first class. I liked I liked the the, the 
the X-Men that we've seen in the last like five or uh, eight years okay. um, better than the ones we had before. Like where we have a uh, younger characters from the past. Yeah, well, I like that, those. Yeah, first class and, and, and Days of Future Past were, I, were definitely, in my opinion, much way, better. Way better. Um, so I have hope for this movie. I have hope of seeing the, this mutant team uh, take down Apocalypse. When I first saw Apocalypse, I was a little perplexed because there was images on Reddit and everything of like, this is a guy who literally cosplayed for a convention that looks more like Apocalypse than Apocalypse. Yeah, I did, did. see that one. That was hard. Um, mm. And he does look a little strange. I, I'm on. I'm on board with it now. I, okay. I feel like you made your piece. It, yeah, I've made my piece. I'm like whatever. Everyone keep comparing him to Ivan Ooze from Power Rangers, and I was like, I don't want to get started on that. Um, I'm. I'm very. I'm very hesitant. It, it, the story it didn't it didn't grab me when I watched the trailer. I'm not gonna lie, I, yeah. I wasn't pulled in like when I was. But uh, you wanted to do well. But I wanted to do well yeah, because right of my you. Marvel fandom. Okay. Um, I think uh, I think some of the new characters we're being introduced to are gonna. I, I hope they do really well. Um, Olivia Munn playing uh, Psylocke. Psylocke. Um, Very excited about that. Archangel and it looks really badass in the trailer to me. Um, and I've always liked his. I like his character, and I like his. Okay. Uh, I've always liked his physical appearance too. He looks. He looks cool as fuck. Um, so I mean, you know, hopefully we'll get a little good out of this. I'm, I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. That's what I'm doing for this movie. Um, I, because of the last two movies, I am hoping it does better. Because the, the X Men's before, you know, like you, were, you know how you mentioned about, you didn't really understand why you didn't just take the content that's there and put mm -hmm. it on screen. <clears throat> when the, when Brian Singer did the first X Men, when they brought it to him, he had never heard of it. So he didn't start reading until he didn't start Are you reading. Serious? Yeah, X Men. I never heard of such thing. Let so me he he did the movie with just like last minute rush knowledge. He had a he had. The they gave in. a director <laughs> access was, to he a was comic that has been as he been, was, as he was reading Superman the script. Returns. He probably never knew who Superman was. Superman so was after just, the first X Men, he started in diving in more. Can we go back in time? and, go and, back and, and, and give and this to better people. That's what I feel like he did with this one. He was like, "We want you to do it again." It's like. I've been reading I, since. I've been I, reading in my failures over the years. Right, but you I've been see reading. It's been getting better. Do you, as do you he's know been there's more characters research. other than the ones I did originally? You got Jubilee. Like this is crazy. Yeah, he and got. He got. They, they had there's the script a whole ready. bunch of X Men. There's a lot. It's not just four or five. He got the script, and then he did a little research, and he changed it up a little bit, and and he went with his vision. And it was research is very limited, and then it started growing from there. And that's I think, even though he didn't direct all of these, he's been, he's had a hand, and I think now that's why we're getting closer to. But I feel like I didn't feel I didn't start rooting for this franchise until first class. First class. Yeah. The only thing good out of the original movies was the Wolverine. Yeah, I liked Kelsey Grammer didn't do it for you. No. <laughs> <laughs> what was your name? Jam Jamke Famke. Oh, Famke. Famke. Yeah. Famke Jensen. Uh, Jensen. Nightcrawler. Um, that was, I, and I didn't even Toad? know. Toad. But oh man. You guys remember Toad? Yeah. So. They came a long way. That's why I, I'm 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 happy I to like, see it. It just I don't think the trailer did it for me. This trailer. <laughs> Do you guys remember Last Stand where they uh, where Magneto goes into the the den of mutants and they all have like weird obscure powers? Like, hey, what's your power? I'm a fucking porcupine. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. terrible. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I'm pretty mutants. sure there are mutants in the yeah, universe. Yeah, I'm sure there are. But be whatever you want. I just feel like that that was a platform to already start introducing some more. Uh, powerful or uh relevant characters to the x-men world but they they kind of missed on that one um you know but sure. <laughs> whatever yeah it was just also, like i have a question yeah uh, that we're, now we're talking about apocalypse i won't ask that question okay because, because it's like there's a scene in last stand that never made sense to me how that porcupine guy hugged someone and and did his quill thing and they died but the quills are like this big you'd be in a lot of pain but that Maybe it bled out. Maybe maybe a bunch, poison. Of, a bunch of holes. Maybe we didn't get to see it and it comes maybe out further. Maybe he's poison? Like, uh, maybe they do come out further. I don't know. I anyway. mean, Wolverine can give you the middle finger. He can make that adjustment if he needed to. So that we would get right off, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, see, that's how much this trailer's hold us. We're talking about past movies more than we're talking about yeah. this one. So that's hopefully awful. it will Hopefully surprise. it brings us back in. And I'm looking forward to having that discussion uh, when the movie comes out. Let us know in the comments what you feel about it. Um, X-Men Apocalypse. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna talk about the uh, most recent of the comic book movies exciting trailer. 
Suicide Squad. Um, Woo! Yes. Yeah, a lot of it's it's actually visually I think orgasmic. Down the line, there are haters and lovers. There's oh, nobody yeah. in really in the middle. I don't know. It's like and you're that's, either that's anticipating. That's what's or, great about it. That's yeah. what's great about it. Nobody is like you're either really anticipating or you're like just uh, just hating it. Just like it's gonna bomb. So where do you, Cody? Where do you where do you fall on that? I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. And which is surprising to me because as we've stated in previous, uh, I'm not a DC fan, but this looks like a really good movie. I have some gripes with it. Uh, I, I'm just gonna say it. The Joker looks weird to me. Is he what too skinny? I, he's not too skinny. He looks too like hot say. topic hipster. I, I just think it's. I just think we're stuck with the situation of we're so used to seeing the last two. Yeah. In Carnage's, and we just. Where we it's hard. It's hard for us to change our our views on it. it. Yeah. But um. Christian Bale's gonna be Batman. Oh, it's gonna be terrible. <laughs> and now you're like, wait, Ben Affleck's gonna be. Yeah. So I just. It yeah. It happens every time. It happens every time. Um, and I'm, I'm not going to lie and say that's not what's happening right now because it's 100% what it is. <laughs> There's far worse things happening. Like, if you watch, like, a Lifetime movie, they're, they're getting the craziest are getting people to now. play people. The Lifetime movies are a lot better now. Just <sighs> movies in general. We're getting off track. Oh, <laughs> Just finish your point, catch, Cody. <laughs> look, be on the lookout for our Movie Lingo Lifetime Movie Network uh, review. Yeah. Um, I, I think I know who's, who's going to host that LMN. one. LMN. Um, so... I'm I'm looking forward to it as someone who doesn't read DC or watch DC a lot. Um, I'm I'm excited to see it because it looks very dark, and I'm I'm I like oh, that kind so of movie. Yeah. It looks very dark. So yeah. dark. dark alley. You can smell the urine. It's just it's so dark. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. City dark. You can use needles everywhere. <laughs> exactly. Syringes all over the place. Well, tell me, Ron, how do you feel about the trailer? Oh, it was all like the music. The way the music started off, and then you had the gunshots and explosion that went with it. Um, so you're on the side that's anticipating. Oh, I'm anticipating the pretty, fuck out of this. Like it's pretty the obvious. underlining part about um, Suicide Squad. Like, what Suicide Squad are you watching? Like, are you watching? Like, I think in your head you're thinking, oh, Joker and the group, they're gonna kill everything. It's like, no. What if it's them versus Joker and his group? Because you got these two guys that every scene they've got different masks on as they're killing or doing crazy stuff. You've got one of the great contract signings of Will Smith and what I mean by great about it is he wrote in there I will only do this if you show my face 80% of the movie without the original headpiece on without the the I'm just I'm mask. just man yes. I'm pumped you got Croc doing push-ups strings of meat hanging in the the background Croc Killer that just the movie's gonna be awesome the movie's gonna be the awesome guy who's playing awesome. Killer Croc is uh, from Lost I didn't know that really? until yesterday night the, uh, he played uh, Mr. Echo Oh yeah! Oh, it's him! Yeah. Wow! I didn't know. I didn't do any research on it. Yeah, I watched. Mr. I watched. Echo. I watched it. I watched the trailer okay. last night in anticipation now for this. I am to be looking, spoiling more stuff for me. Uh, me, I, I'm actually very excited. Uh, I've never read any, any literature, any comics on Suicide Squad, but yeah, me neither. The, the idea. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm one of those people, and the people are probably gonna cut off. I've seen. I wasn't really introduced to the Suicide Squad until watching the last season of Arrow. Um, cause they, they, they pulled out basically the big, they, they started pulling in those characters. They didn't use all the ones that are in the movie now, but they basically, but the idea of it has always been something that, um, I like of taking like your most deadly craziest criminals and forcing them into doing your bidding because they're expendable. Yep. I uh, really wish we could, this makes me want a Thunderbolts movie. Yes. That's, uh, I now that I would love to see Thunderbolts. For me? No Thunderbolts is, it, I mean, it, this is a very loose comparison, but it's, right. it's like Marvel's version of a Suicide Squad, Got where the, Red Hulk, Red Hulk, Punisher, uh, Deadpool, Deadpool, Electra, um, Venom, Venom, Agent, Agent Venom. Agent Venom. Right yeah. now, that or that's who it was in the pre. There have been other incarnations of it, um, but yeah, it's like the same thing. It's like a bunch of badass, like anti-hero type, teaming up and yeah. Yeah, they they get shit done for. We will root for the bad guys. Yes, we will. Yeah. You give us a good movie, we'll root for the bad guys. Yeah. Well, with this trailer, what I what I liked about it, um, especially this 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 longer one, is that um, they don't seem to be taking themselves too serious at all. This seems like it's gonna be a good, fun, fucked up situation. Yeah. And that's kind of making me feel more comfortable. I you know at first if I felt like before, and I may have been doing it to myself, but I felt like they were trying to create this epicness to it. And I felt like I didn't need it. Like just like with the Marvel movies, when we compared the Avengers to Ant Man, Ant Man was fun. Yeah. You know, even yeah. though it was a lot, it doesn't need to be. And, and just DC like, needs a little bit of fun. Uh, and also, what the the Guardians of the Galaxy didn't need to be as intense as Avengers. No. It was fun. You know, it was like every every movie can contribute rails. to the universe, 
with its own flair and i'm excited that this is not trying to be as serious as batman v superman it's contributing to the universe with yeah. its own flair and and I'm, I'm 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 actually excited about it i'm looking forward to watching it uh, any more thoughts on it like how, how do you feel about the the lightheartedness of it i'm i'm looking forward to that i mean i like a i like a lighthearted movie as much as i like a serious superhero movie i, I think <laughs> like I'm, many and many of comic book writers will throw in humor right. in there um spider-man was always always had humor he was you know deadpool's a humorous type of person like there's right. always humorous characters and i think that's what made that that's what brings people into some of these movies is if they can balance the the comic bookness with the lightheartedness right um then they can get a good mixture of people watching the movie because they know what it is and people coming into the movie not knowing what it is and still enjoying it all right, I, I want to ask you something since uh, we already expressed how much we love it, so we're not going to beat that up. Okay. So now I want to ask you while we got time. Uh, I'll start with you, Ron. Um, which character did you love the most out of the trailer? I know we all have our favorites going into the movie, but the, the trailer kind of shifted things for me. So out of the trailer, what character did you love the most, or are you still wherever you were before, before the oh, trailer? Oh, man, it's, it's like it magnified it. Like, originally I was so curious about Joker, this Joker. Mm -hmm. um, his tone, like you watch the nods in the, the, the clothing they put him in and certain scenes where you see remnants of the comic book and what they're giving back to. Boomerang, the, the, the joke, you know, where he's opening the, the soda and he's taking the sip and it's completely perfect with the music of the trailer. But probably the character that, that I'm really curious to see would be probably the origin that they'll give you for Quinn. Damn it. Um, you're watching he in the little mine. siblets that you're seeing when they're in that acid bath or acne type thing, you're seeing that heart almost shape of their coloring and you're kind of seeing that in her hair. You're seeing the part where she's like outside and she's like, hey, um, what is that? You want me to kill everybody in here and escape? No, <laughs> the voices in my head say that. No, no, they really did. Like when she broke the glass, to just to still tell me we're bad guys. Yeah, she looked him like, what, like, what, like seriously? Like the, you're, you're watching that and then you're, you're seeing in that trailer, you saw little bits of the origin. And like I said, I enjoy a trailer that makes me go back and do some homework. Mm -hmm. And when you watch Quinn, while she's sitting there reading that book with her pinky in the air, like she looks, you know, the greatness of life. If you look at the book, someone has broken down what she's reading. She's reading uh, erotica. <laughs> She's in prison reading erotica, Read, and it just, it just, you, like, yeah. yeah, so sophisticated, reading in her all yoga this pose. sensual dirtiness. Exactly, exactly, so it just, to me, Quinn, all right. that was the icing on the so cake. So for you, it was, it was, it was Harley Quinn Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I, 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 I've, as someone who doesn't like DC, I've always been interested in the relationship between Joker and Harley Quinn, mm -hmm. um, and, like, my, my DC knowledge is, is limited to, uh, I've read, uh, Blackest Night and Brightest Day. Uh, there's a couple of Batman comics and Superman comics I've read, but I did play most of the Arkham games, which a lot of people would be like, well, that doesn't mean you know. I, I'm not saying I do, but I, I like the development relationship, like, of the, you know, she was a therapist, and mm -hmm. she was Same. his therapist, and then she fell in love with him, and, and now it's like, she's demented, and I think I think Margot Robbie's going to do, like, a really good job. I, 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 I was thrown off a little bit, um from her character when I first saw the trailer when I went back and watched it last night I was like I think this will be interesting um, I really want to see Deadshot I'm really interested in Deadshot's character too um, Will Smith looks like he's going to be real serious and, and like badass in this movie and he I like that be. he yeah. has to be for that character yeah um, but for me the trailer is the same I'm with you guys Harley Quinn um, yeah just just really loves that crazy I was feeling every every bit of it and I was just like I was I was actually glad that she was more so the the focus of the trailer. Well, she got she just got more face time. Well, I want to see more of the Enchantress too. Oh yeah, I think they don't want to show their hands too much because you have a yeah. scene where she's kind of not herself yet. She hasn't you know been possessed, and it teases that whole love line, love interest. And then you have another one where she's in the White House. So I, I think they're doing a great job of not telling you what the suicide like to me. Like spoiler alert, I feel. Well, we got till August, so I they feel probably, like they might Slipknot is dead. Like they just have him in there as bait. They're just showing you some things, mm -hmm. um, and I feel like you're watching one bad crew versus another bad crew. Yeah, and it's who you're rooting for. Yeah, I mean but that would be awesome. It is going to be awesome. I, I think uh, you know. Uh, unfortunately, we gotta wait all the way till August for wait, this. We got a good year for movies. Here. This is this is gonna be a good year, and it's gonna be a good year for the younger. movie lingo reviews and everything. <laughs> You know, so I'm, I'm looking forward to our that. Year. Yes, this is going to be a good year for Hashtag. the reviews. Uh, so Suicide Squad trailer, we all loved it. Loved it. You guys, hopefully you've already seen it. Otherwise, we've just spoiled stuff for you. But go watch it anyway. 
uh, and let us know in your comments how you feel about it and um, yeah that's that's pretty much it so we, we just did all three of these movies we hope you guys uh, comment and we're looking forward to the reviews and I, I, I'm, you guys have to come back I don't care you guys make sure we on yeah, we have movies we have your son and or daughter mm -hmm. and we will kill her and him if you don't come back of course yeah that gets him every time see him lining up so thank you for joining us for another movie lingo trailer talk i'm eddie lingo i'm insane and i'm following closely i'm wrong <laughs> cody don't they know my name man they, they should they no. better bye <laughs>